Okay. <clears throat> Again, <laughs> welcome everyone to the Chen Resident Tibetan Buddhist Center live Zoom of Nanjel Kenser Geshe Wandok Lapsang Tenzin. Uh, today, Rinpoche will be teaching us a few stanzas of the source of all my good. Um, I've already completed prostrations uh, before we began recording. Uh, so if others uh, um, who have joined on probably have also made prostrations out of respect uh, to the teacher. So when we look at the text that we're currently studying, the first stanza is the source of all my good is my kind Lama. Um, and that is because everything that we are able to learn in terms of the path, we require a teacher. We require that information of a teacher explaining it to us. So that's where it begins. Uh, so we make prostrations to pay homage to that teacher who gives us the gift of these teachings and whose lineage is traces all the way back to Buddha Shakyamuni. Uh, so we're not only prostrating and uh, paying homage to our teacher, uh, who is the manifestation of a Buddha uh, if we practice a guru devotion, uh, but we're also paying homage to the lineage of teachers than an unbroken lineage that goes back to Buddha Shakyamuni. So without further ado, let's get started. I just made prostration, so I'm not young anymore, I'm finding. Uh, so anyway, let's begin with the um, Sutra of the Heart of Transcendent Knowledge. <clears throat> The Sutra of the Heart of Transcendent Knowledge. Thus have I heard, once the Blessed One was dwelling in Rajagriya, at Vulture Peak Mountain, together with a great gathering of the Sangha of monks and a great gathering of the Sangha of Bodhisattvas. At that time, the Blessed One entered the Samadhi that expresses the Dharma called profound illumination. At the same time, noble Abhagateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, while practicing the profound Prajnaparamita, saw in this way. He saw the five skandhas to be empty of nature. Then, through the power of the Buddha, Venerable Shariputra said to noble Abhagateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, how should a son or daughter of noble family train who wishes to practice a profound Prajnaparamita addressed in this way, noble Abhagateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to Venerable Shariputra, O oh, Shariputra, son or daughter of noble family who wishes to practice a profound Prajnaparamita should see in this way, seeing the five skandhas to be empty of nature, form is emptiness, emptiness also is form, emptiness is no other than form, form is no other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, perception, formation, and consciousness are emptiness. Thus, Shari Pujas, all dharmas are emptiness. There are no characteristics. There is no birth and no cessation. There is no impurity, no purity. There is no decrease, no increase. Therefore, Shari Putra and emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no perception, no formation, no consciousness. No eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no appearance, no sound, no smell, no taste, no touch, no dharmas, no eye, dot two, up to no mind, dot two, no dot two, of dharmas, no mind, consciousness, dot two, no ignorance, no end of ignorance, up to no old age. And death, no end of old age and death, no origin, no suffering, no origin of suffering, no cessation of suffering, no path, no wisdom, no attainment, no non-attainment. Therefore, Shariputra, since the Bodhisattvas have no attainment, they abide by means of Prajnaparamita. Since there is no obscuration of mind, there is no fear. They transcend falsity and acclaim complete nirvana. All the Buddhas of the three times by means of Prajnaparamita, fully awakened to unsurpassable true complete enlightenment. Therefore, the great mantra of Prajnaparamita, the mantra of great insight, the unsurpassed mantra, the unequal mantra, the mantra that calms all suffering, should be known as true. Since there is no deception, the Prajaparamita Madra said in this way, Te Ata Om Gate Gate Parakate Parasangate Bodhiso Ha. Thus, Shariputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, should train in the profound Prajaparamita. Then the Blessed One arose from that samadhi and praised noble Abhukateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, saying, Good, good, O son of noble family, thus it is, O son of noble family, thus it is. One should practice a profound Prajnaparamita just as you have taught, and all the Tatakatas would rejoice. When the Blessed One had said this, Venerable Shariputra and noble Abhukateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, that whole assembly in the world with its gods, humans, Asuras, and Gandharvas, rejoiced and praised the words of the Blessed One. Gala jube ne jo damba ne ngo shi du jo ngā yī du tō jīn Rū bā bū lā mā yī bū jīn zī ne zō ngā nrū zō lā yā ne lō Shandara zamara yā me de yā tō で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. Holy Lamas high, wrap the sty of your Dharma bodies in massive clouds of knowledge and love and let them pour upon the earth of your disciples as we are ready, shower of rain, the teachings deep and wide. Send forth this jewel mandala to you, precious Guru. Yedam Guru Radha Mandala Gamni Radha Yami. Sanji. Jodan Doji Chanamla Sanju Badu Dani Jasuji Nagi Chinye Jibeza Namji Rala Menji Dani Jubaju. Okay, <clears throat> so we left off last week in the source of all my good, uh, seven or eight stanzas in. Um, so we'll just quickly go over, uh, we'll read it up to where we are. <clears throat> the source of all my good is my kind Lama, my Lord. Bless me first to see that taking myself to him or her in the proper way is the very root of the path and grant me then to serve and follow him or her with all my strength and reverence. So here we have guru devotion. We have the reliance upon a spiritual teacher and we find all the points that are made in the great treatise on the stage of the path to enlightenment in regards to the qualifications of a spiritual teacher. Bless me first to see, realize the excellent life of leisure I found just this once. It's ever so hard to find and ever so valuable. Grant me then to wish and never stop to wish that I could take its essence night and day. So here we recognize the life of leisure and opportunity that we have, uh, and we look at the value that we have within it, the eight leisures and the 10 opportunities. And then when we recognize the value of the life that we per currently possess and its rarity, we wish that we could take its essence uh, night and day. So how do we take its essence night and day? Well, we read on to find that we start to begin to have knowledge 
um, uh, about what that would mean and what that would look like. My body and the life in it are fleeting as the bubbles in the sea froth of a wave. Bless me first thus to recall the death that will destroy me soon. Um, and after I find sure knowledge that after I've died. So here, here it's saying that after I get this knowledge that I'm definitely going to die. So we do these meditations on death and impermanence to say that we're definitely going to die. We don't know when it's going to happen and nothing can help us but Dharma. Um, so we have all the supporting factors and meditations in the long rim to show us that. And once we decide we're definitely going to die, we recognize that what happens then? Uh, how, how, how will the actions that we've engaged in uh, relate to our next experiences? And how do the experiences that we've had already relate to our previous our actions? So here it says, help me find sure knowledge that after I've died, so I know I'm going to die. And after I die, the things that I've done, the white or black, those virtuous things, those white, those non-virtuous things, those black, and what those deeds bring to me follow always close behind as certain as my shadow. So just like the experiences that I've had um, were caused by previous karma, happiness that I've had was caused by virtue, suffering that I've had was caused by non-virtue. In the future, our, our experiences will be concordant in the same exact way. So once we realize that karma, uh, we understand karma and its results, and we understand the certainty of the karma, uh, and we understand that karma will give rise to a result if it's not purified. Um, so, and it will usually, as time goes on, give rise to an even greater result than that which was planted. Like they talk about the seed of an oak tree, how big it can become. The the sanje, the sompre, the le sana, the sukun chun chun, then shin chembo jigure. So the the Buddha has stated such uh, that our virtues we plant could be very small and then to rise into a very very large experience. So. Once we realize that, we should start modifying our life. So then we start to understand what taking the essence of this life is. It's engaging in virtue so that at this point, we cannot suffer in the future. So we haven't, at this point, become completely advanced. We're still in this small scope. The teachings shared in common with beings of small capacity. They're in common because all of the medium and great scope practitioners have to realize everything that we're talking about. But here it's saying, when we look in the Lam Rim, we find all these topics actually in the small scope. Um, and it says, grant me then to be ever careful to stop the slightest wrongs of the many wrongs we do and try to carry out instead each and every good of the many that we may. So now I know that non-virtue leads to suffering. Virtue leads to happiness. So I should act accordingly if I would like to be happy in the future. Um, so it's saying, it's try to carry out all goods and, and abandon all negativities because we don't like to suffer, so why would we engage in that which gives rise to that what we don't want? It makes no sense. So it's beginning to build a logical basis for engaging in virtuous activity. Bless me to perceive all that's wrong with the, the seemingly good things of this life. I can never get enough of them. They cannot be trusted. They are the door to every pain I have. Grant me then to strive for the stead for the happiness of freedom. So up till now, we're talking about this life and this life's activities and this life of leisure and opportunity and our future life's happiness. And now we move on to recognizing that the happiness that we think is happiness in this life and in our future lives will just be plagued with the suffering of suffering, the suffering of change, and at least the pervasive compounded suffering. So then what do we wish then? To strive for the happiness of freedom, the desire to definitely emerge. So in, we actually find in the the Jeep the Lanren Chemo Rinpoche, the Jipo Chongo, uh Lanrim Chemo, the the uh the Gunju Demba Dan Dungyo Demba Yure, Dungyo Demba Dan Gunju Demba Yure, then Jipu Din Landen Dan Goden, Gut Sogure, La Parson. Then they so when we look at the Lam Rim, we even get to the truth of suffering and origin of suffering. In the small scope teachings, we find the 12 links of dependent origination. And then the medium scope starts when we get to the three highest higher trainings, that, that desire to definitely emerge. So it's saying that once we recognize that no matter where we're born in cyclic existence, there's suffering, may we wish to definitely emerge. May we wish to uh, be emerged from cyclic existence. Um, uh, you know, we, we see in the Lam Rim, ascertaining the nature of the path to enlightenment. Um, and the abandonments that are there and the measure of this determination to be free. And then we find in the Lam Rim and the Lamsam Namsam, uh, what is the measure of the renunciation? 
It's day and night thinking about getting out of cyclic existence. So nothing else, not having a thought about this life or next life, only thinking of getting out of cyclic existence. So here it's saying that once you realize that all lives are plagued with um, unfortune, that you wish to then emerge. And how do you know if you have that wish? You only wish to do that day and night. Grant me that these pure thoughts may be be watchful to recall what I should be doing. Grant me then the great the great, greatest care to make the vows of morale the essence of my practice. They are the root of Buddhist teaching. So here we learned last week that um, once you, based on this desire to definitely emerge this renunciation, may I engage in virtue because I know I can't be free unless I'm engaged in virtue. Um, so here these sections are about... Uh, the, the teachings shared in common with beings of medium capacity. And then we move on to the teachings for beings of great capacity where we left off last week. I have s slipped and fallen into the sea of the suffering life. Bless me to see that every living being, everyone my own mother has fallen into. Grant me then to practice the wish for enlightenment to take on myself the task of freeing them all. In Rinpoche. Rani si tso. Rani si tso lo ma che che to. Ajun do hoke jo tenda wa. Tonda do ha jo yoko chi. I have slipped and fallen to the sea of the suffering life. So I recognize that I'm plagued. Um, by cyclic existence. I have, I have been forced by my throwing and completing karma into the experience that I'm having within cyclic existence. And I will have to have that again and again throughout hell, hungry ghost, animal, human, demigods, and God's existences until I get rid of that which gives rise to cyclic existence, which is my grasping at true establishment ultimately. Um, so um, once I recognize that I've slipped and fallen in, I then turn my attention to other sentient beings and recognize that they have the same exact situation. And they become attractive to me because at this point we begin to meditate upon the fact that sentient beings are our mothers. We remember their kindness, wish to repay their kindness, love through the force of attraction, great compassion, the extraordinary attitude. And then we develop what it says here, we develop. It says, bless me to see that every living being, everyone, my own mother, has fallen into those beings who are all my mothers, who have been kind, who I wish to repay the kindness of, who I love and have compassion for, um, 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 I want to free, but I can't unless I'm a Buddha. So then it says, may I become enlightened for the sake of sentient beings. But then it, then it goes, so here, the, the Bodhisattva who is an uh, is in, in, uh, um, aspiring Bodhicitta, there are two kinds of bodhicitta, aspiring bodhicitta and engaged bodhicitta. Both aspiring and engaged bodhicitta have this sentiment that one wishes to become a Buddha for the sake of all sentient beings. But the aspiring is just this wish to do so. And there isn't an actual action step per se at that point. So then it says, bless me to see clearly that the wish itself is not enough. For if I'm not well-trained in the three moralities, I cannot become a Buddha. Grant me then a fierce resolve to master the bodhisattva vows. Uh, so this becomes then engaged bodhisattva. Mm. Okay, so then, uh, so just this wish that I want to become a Buddha for the sake of all sentient beings is not enough. I have to engage in action. So here, uh, in this case, the commentary states that if I'm not well trained in the three moralities, so the three moralities, uh, previously it, it talked about the um, ethics being the root of Buddhist teachings. And now it's saying that um, if you want to become a Buddha for the sake of all sentient beings, you have to have the individual liberation vow. You have to have the bodhisattva vow and the tantric vow. Um, so here you become an engaged bodhisattva. Grant me then a fierce resolve to master the bodhisattva vows. So the bodhisattva vows are the 18 root and the 46 secondary uh, bodhisattva 
vows. Um, so, um, then uh, the Chishan at Shiloka cheat more. Look, you like you want to see that on a social table. Yeah, she never had to do it. No, you did you like your shoes? Look, you like you want to see that? Yeah, that on a twenty years old. Hmm. Yeah, that on a two year she Okay, so then we'll do one more stanzas. Grant that I may quickly gain the path where quietude and insight join together, one which quiets my mind from being distracted to wrong objects, the other which analyzes the perfect meaning in the correct way. So here, um, uh, um, it's a, a union of, here it's speaking of a union of calm and biding uh, and special insight. And it's saying that the analysis of this calm abiding is the emptiness, is the correct view of the nature of reality. Um, so the correct view of the nature of reality is what <coughs> the insight analyzes um, and the quietude is what is united with that insight uh, to allow um, for this the special penetration to take place of the object. Um, so it's saying that uh, when we look at meditation, uh, we look at the two types of meditation, uh, single pointed concentration uh, and analysis. Single pointed concentration uh, is where we, uh, we fixate on one object and we, we do not distract from anything object other than that which we are fixed on. So we are not distracted from any other object than emptiness that we are fixed on. And we've eliminated the, the negativities in meditation of excitedness and dullness. And we've arrived at this clean um, union of calm abiding and special insights. So the calm abiding uh, and special insights. So this, uh, um, this single pointed concentration allows us to um, fixate on one subject and the analysis is the, the special insight is focused and penetrates that subject of the correct view of emptiness. Um, so we'll stop there. The ne the dende the tomba ni desu desu laro na the 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 becha chuchen ton yende demba majute dende yimbeches dende yimbeches dende yin yimbe chuchen the chu tamche tomba ni yen dende chu ga su ne chu ba chu dende chu ba ma de ba ra de ba desu. Mm. So uh, when we look at what is the meaning of this emptiness that we're talking about, the correct view, the nature of reality, and what would this book be, for instance? So if we say this book, the subject, this book is empty. Why is it empty? Because it dependently originates. It does not have any inherent existence from its own side, any bookness, until the parts come together and then it is it serves as a collection that is an appropriate basis of designation for the name book. But there is no book that is separate, that is inherently existent, uh, separate from this name, this, this imputation. So this, these things here are merely basis for imputation that are appropriate to be called book. Why? Because everyone around would say this, this is a book. The world would concur that this is a book. Um, and it serves the function of a book. It, I don't know what the definition of book is suitable to be shown as book. Lobson Dunye is laughing right now. Book susurua. The teb teb gitseni. The teb gitseni gare teg susurua. So if anybody has any questions, um, there's probably a real definition for a book anyway. But if anybody has any questions, let's uh, do them now. Um, and I just want to say thank you, everybody, um, for. Uh, your patience in dealing with the Zoom teachings. As we know, the 
most important thing right now is uh, keeping Rinpoche safe. Um, and then the second most important thing is that if Rinpoche is safe and then we congregate, we may not all be safe. Um, so we just have to make sure that we're protecting Rinpoche and by protecting each other in that fashion by not congregating, we're protecting him because the teachings depend upon the students. The teacher staying in this world depends upon the students requesting and wishing for the teacher to continue teaching. Uh, and we can't very well do that if we start dying of COVID or start being hospitalized uh, because we've congregated and thought we were doing something that we should when we shouldn't. Um, so I know there's Losar coming up as a point to my, my conversation. Losar's coming up. There's a lot of occasions coming up where people will gather. But all we saw from the <laughs> gatherings of Thanksgiving uh, and Christmas were more deaths. So we're Buddhists. We're, we're, we're all about trying to extend life and not take it away. So just please uh, remember that. Um, Rinpoche has been very careful to not get around all of the people that he really wants to be around uh, to stay safe. Uh, we haven't had any of our friends in our home for almost a year uh, to stay safe. Um, and so if at least we could do for each other is the same, uh, the same uh, level, I don't know, just have the same level of respect and, and sh have that same kindness for each other. Okay, that's my speech. All right, let's see. Martin Cancer Rimshi, would you please explain briefly the meaning of Iwam? Rimshi, Iwam. Iwam. Don't go there. Iwam. 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 Okay, so I'm not sure. Uh, Iwam. Is that, are you talking about the sense powers? Um, well, we're going to answer it assuming we're talking about the sense powers. Um, e, e womble. Maybe you're talking about something different. Um, I'm not sure. Let me move. Let me move on and just make sure that's what we're talking about. I'll go to the next questions. And David, if you can do a follow up and let me know if we're talking about sense powers, um, because I said e wom. You saw the rimache. The the jula. Nijolana may be Jew, the Iwan, Yerebe. They don't the Gare. He wants to get the easy Shiba Gonda than a Jiji Shiba Jilla. He wants it. Ale. Okay, so yeah, it's the it's the the empowering that which is powering the consciousness to apprehend um, is the sense power. Um, so there's an eye sense power, nose sense power, uh, ear sense power, tongue sense power, tactile sense power, um, and those sense powers uh, and mental sense power, and then that mental sense power, and these sense powers are empowering the consciousnesses to apprehend. Okay, Alessandra, thank you for the teachings, especially during these times. Can you speak the difference between the establishment and seeking deeper and broader understanding of all truth? Uh, true. Can between true establishment and seeking deeper and broader understanding of all truth. Um, so, Dende, Demba, Drupa, Dang, Demba, the Jawa Gare, Demba, Drupa, Demba, Madrupa, Demba, Demba, Madrupa, Demba, Yin. Demba Drupa Demba Yin. Gary Yin. Demba Madrupa. Demba Ma Yin. Demba Madrupa Demba Yin. Demba Yin. Demba Drupa Ma Yin. Demba Demba Madrupa Demba Yin. Demba Drupa Ma Yin. Then then they Demba Madrupa. The Demba Drupa Demba Ma Yin. Okay, so the relationship between true establishment um, and the understanding of truth, all truth, is this the following. So the lack of true establishment is truth, but it is not truly established. Okay? The true establishment is not truth nor is it truly established. So, so the meaning is, is that true establishment is something that is that which, when we look at the Lam Rim, we just looked at 
um, the wrong, just my mind being distracted from wrong objects. The wrong object is the true establishment of phenomena. Um, and the correct object is uh, the understanding of all truth, which is that all phenomena are not truly established. But, not, but that fact of not truly established is not truly established. So emptiness is empty. So we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, could Rinpoche please explain the three realms, desire, form, and formless, and could the relationship of the realms and the Buddhist path to enlightenment? Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, one moment. Rinpoche, the Brian Triwa, you read? The Brian Triwa, the Dukan. ドゥメカンズーカンズーメカンズーカンドゥンドゥガレソンアドゥマズネダナソモタンデビサドゥネチスゼルンドゥカンラドマルベそうですかあんまりかんがいる<笑> Uh, so when, let's look at, so we're, I'm just, I had some of the listings here. This isn't my forte, but I had some of the listings here. I can't find them. That's okay. Um, so the three realms of cyclic existence, we refer to the um, desire realm. Uh, so the desire realm is the realm that we're, uh, no, here we go. Uh, the, the desire, the je dong, the yakanga. La drup, the... Okay, so the desire realm is all of the nyawa yida the the this one the me dan la dan la mai la dan la ji la mai in the kanga du kan ma dan ha de bila ro de bila ok de bila yes the kanga the nyawa yena du kan in cha okay so uh, so we're beginning with the desire realm. There are the, uh, we'll begin with the six realms of cyclic existence. We'll talk about how the desire realm relates to the six realms of cyclic existence. All six realms um, are, are represented within the desire realm. Um, but there are uh, the Lama Yin, Dupi, Dukan, Kanga, Lama Yin. Lama Yin, Dukan, Kanga. Okay, so uh, I'm just double checking facts because again, uh, the Abhidharma is not my forte. <laughs> so, so going back, so the desire realm is composed of um, all six realms of cyclic existence are represented, um, but the God's realm also is represented in the form and formless realm as well. So there is desire realm, the form realm, and the formless realm. We are um, the hell realm, hungry ghost, animal humans and demigods are all within the desire realm. And then there are desire realm gods that are also in the desire realm, which is the same realm we're in. Uh, so there are six desire realm gods, the four great royal lineages, the heaven of, the heaven of 33, the land without war, joyous land, controlling one's emanations and controlling others emanations. Uh, so these six realms are six desire realm gods fall into the desire realm. Okay, so we have hell, hungry ghost, animal, human, demigod, and some gods falling into this category of the desire realm. Okay, then is Zukan, Gonja, Zukan, Zumekan. Zukan, Zukan, Neri, Jidu, Zero. So um, there are the different concentration levels. Uh, once you get to the form realm, there's a Satambo, Nipa, Sumba, Jipa, Zukan. Judun. Then a Zukan, Judun, Zumekan. Uh, so in the, the so the different concentration levels relate to the form realm. And the formless realms 
uh, have uh, different names related to them. So the form realm is a concentration, a realm in which it is basically a concentration realm where you're in a level of concentration, but you still have form. The formless realm is the level of concentration where you no longer have form. It's a more subtle level of concentration where there is no form, um, um, but you still have this consciousness. Uh, and then there are these peak nothinglessness, limitless consciousness and limitless space. Um, then a samten tambo nipa somba jepa lapa. Then a samten sa tambo je zuka yo marbe. Okay. So Rinpoche is saying that in the formless realm, we could say that they're even all around us, not bearing form. Uh, um, so I'm just trying to dive a little bit deeper um, on this subject, I'm not really getting uh, very far. I'm trying to relate it in terms of the concentration levels. Um, uh, but we can, uh, we can table this till next time. I don't wanna wait, uh, take a lot of time up. Um, I have a chart, <laughs> not in front of me though. Uh, um, so explain the three realms, desire, form, and formless, and the relationship of the realms in the Buddhist path to enlightenment. Then they, the, 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 kanga, dukan, zukan, zume kan, drogare, natsu zukan, zume kan, drongu, dronai, pentogudue, mugua. So, so it's not an aim uh, to achieve these form and formless realm existences. And it's actually said in some of the texts that a lot of nirvana has been mistaken uh, for these realms. Uh, and a lot of uh, some of the non-Buddhist realizations of nirvana were actually realizations of form or formless realm uh, um, levels of concentration. So um, it's just kind of the framework of, of the different realms within cyclic existence and how they're created. Some are, are created um, more by meditation than, than uh, they are from the other factors, if you will. Um, more potent meditation. Okay, then let me see what we got. Okay, Rinpoche be vaccinated soon. Rinpoche has his uh, first vaccination already. He got it the other day. Um, and then he has signed up for one in another month. Um, but, you know, so we're very, very, very happy. We're trying to figure out how to get myself and Lori vaccinated um, because, you know, I dialyze Rinpoche every single day, twice a day now, and control all of his diet and control his sugar. And it's a very, very intense balancing act um, that requires all the months of 24-7 research and understanding of Rinpoche's specific condition uh, to keep going. And I'm not trying to like toot something here, but I'm just trying to give everybody the reality that I need to stay well um, in order to keep Rinpoche going. Um, because you can't just find people who are certified, just have them come and, you know, handle this 24 seven out of no nowhere. Uh, so um, yes, Rinpoche has been vaccinated and we're trying hard to all get vaccinated. Uh, thank you. I, I thought it was pronounced awam and pertain to either vowels or con consonants or method and wisdom. Ewam. E Ewam. 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 Yeah, Rinpoche is back. So let's just move on. Did the person who asked about the mental sense power write Ewam? That might be trans referring to a Sanskrit term. Thank you. Tibetans often pronounce like Ewam. It is the mantra or phrase Rinpoche would know. Om ye dharma hetu prava hentu shan tatagaho eva dot. Oh, I'm so bad at reading this. The evam maha shramaniya svaha evam. You want mashamana as well. Yes. Yeah, not. It's a tantric uh, syllable. Um, so yes, Lab Song Dunye, thank you very much. Evam. Uh, uh, David Triwa Evam. 
Okay. So yes, it's a mantra uh, phrase. Uh, so it's saying the cause of this mental consciousness is Ivan. Uh, and Ivan, the uh, So it's saying that Ivan, uh, I see. So uh, in, in, in dependence upon the, uh, the sense power, the mental sense power, the mental consciousness arises. And in, in dependence upon the I sense power, the I sense arises. Uh, so um, that's what we got. Oh, hold on. We got a lot of questions today. That's great. Trila Mumbledu. Okay, what does Buddhism say about the role of music and healing, teaching, Dharma, and prayer? What does Buddhism say? Buddhism says that all things are not truly established and that we have to collect virtue in order to. So there's not a lot of commentary. I mean, if it's an offering of music, then it's virtue. If it's a distracted music, then it's distraction. Um, so Buddhism really doesn't say a lot about a lot, and there isn't a lot of like, hmm, Rinpoche, the Sanje, Shetan Dan Jalin, the music, the Garisum Pre, Yabudu, Yabumindu, the Pentogudu, Shupa Yuna. The Ivan Tap Dan Shera, Yomar. Yeah, so Ramachit is, is saying he does, uh, so I'm asking about the method and wisdom. Does Ivam Ramachit is saying he's not sure about that. He's saying the method would be the uh, um, the top. Uh, so the great compassion and the bodhicitta would be the method, um, but is that within Ivam uh, and the wisdom? He's saying he's not sure. Um, music and healing of music and healing, teaching Dharma and prayer. Um, the music, the shu she pentogudu, the sanje sumpare. Yeah, we're not sure. I'm saying, I said to Rinpoche, is music beneficial in teaching? He said, yeah. I said, did Buddha say that? And he said, I don't know. Um, so, so really, if it's something that can be used skillfully to help people learn to not grasp at things as being truly established, to help people learn to want to emerge from the lower realms, to help people want to emerge from cyclic existence, to help people want to become Buddhas for the sake of all sentient beings. If any of those things are caused by it, then we would have to say it's good. But if it causes something else, which is cyclic existence, um, then we might want to take a look at it. So Buddha just said that this is why you suffer. This is suffering. This is why you suffer. You don't have to suffer. This is how you do it. You know, a lot of, and, and then the details of all of that were filled in. Um, but, you know, you do have stories of Nagarjuna maybe playing a guitar without strings. You have stories of music in the Dharma. A lot of like music playing in the sky and flowers falling when Buddha did good things. So I don't know. Thank you. I thought it was pronounced Yvonne. Okay, Melinda. Okay, did the person who has mental sense power write Yvonne that might be referring? Okay, we did that. Okay, Alessandra, was there... Any benefit to a temporary grasping at an establishment of understanding of truth in order to have a sanctuary to recover from a previous grasp? Um, the Rimache, the Tambo, the Chu Tamche, Demba Madrupa, Demba, Dendel, Yimbe Chir, Sanlodan Yakshu, Tambo, Da Kona, the 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 Demba Madrupa. Then a Chu Tamche, Demba Madrupa. Gari Yakshu, Gongi Chua. Okay, 
I, I'm really not having a, um, the reason I'm having a difficulty is I'm trying to relate it to the tenant system. So we see in the tenant systems where they weren't, we, we didn't see the teaching, the Tambo Sanjay, the, the Chu Tamche, Demba Madrupa La Mason, the, the, the Duta Mawa, Duta Mawa Je, Shera Mawa. Then mm. the Sanjay Sansan, the Da Yoba, Da Mepa Sansan, the Kalans. Then the Konsu Gari and Pen Take, Pen Gari Pen. So the Buddha taught to scope. So the Buddha taught various uh, levels of understanding uh, to different disciples. So the Buddha taught to some that there was a self, some that there was no self, some that there was no self of person, some that there was no self of phenomena, which is the ultimate uh, understanding is that there's no, no true self of person and phenomena, that, that all phenomena are not truly established. But the Buddha realized that everybody couldn't handle necessarily the understanding of the Madhyamika Prasangika initially, right at first, and they might fall into nihilism or wrong view. So he taught them a less, uh, a more a modified view that was less um, intrusive to their grasping um, so that it could be um, slowly eaten away at, as opposed to throwing them into nihilism. So the tenet systems show us that the Buddha, through skillful means, taught different views, um, but ultimately the correct view is the only one that's correct. Wyatt wanted me to say hello. The, the Adrian Pugo, Tashirale, Adrian Pugo, the Tanda Dagudu, Tashirale, Wyatt. Yeah. Okay, so I just told him that uh, Wyatt says hi, and it's hard with Zoom. I, he's, I promise, keep promising him everyone's behind this, this lens here. Thank you so much for posing the questions to Rimshay. Thank you all you do. Uh, many thanks. Oh, yeah. Um, I get much more. Uh, um, than anyone could, I'm sure, ever imagine out of this relationship. So it's only fitting that all of I've taken from it for all of these years that I would try to give back a little bit. So um, yeah, but thank you. I appreciate that. I think I got them all, right? Excellent, easy to my suffering, no question. Thank you for the question. Why I want to say hi. Okay. Yeah, and I'm sorry the music and the question, but it really just falls down to motivation and benefit. Um, and, you know, uh, as they would say, there's a wrench for every nut. Um, so maybe there's, uh, you know, some kind of skillful means that can, if it can get somebody to the point where they want to get out of the lower realms and then want to get out of cyclic existence and then want to become a Buddha. Um, then it's moving in the right direction. And the Buddha used all kinds of skillful means in order to get there um, and form and came in all kinds of different forms. Um, so I'm looking back at some of the stories in the Jataka stales um, and what Bodhisattvas did uh, uh, in order to help. So yeah, if music helps, sure. Um, that word healing is tough though, because the only way you can totally heal is to become a Buddha. Uh, um, the only way to heal our afflictive obstructions and the obstructions to omniscience is to become a Buddha. Okay. And of course, music of offering. Look at the Tibetan, the trumpets, and the, all the different tantric rituals. They all have music in them. Um, yeah. Fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the central teachings of Venerable Lotus Andropa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness, all powerful. I will Tenzin Yatsu, may you stay until samsara's end. 
I pray for the long life of the precious cancer Wandak, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, a spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. So I want to delve into this music and I just had some kind of uh, thoughts. Garishine, the nga, nga, the kandun che, the drip on losaling, the jalin, the mambo. Mambo yure, the jutsen gare. Chupa the chupa. Kanga chupa, jutsen jenda yo maribe. Yeah, that's your mother. Okay, so I was asking him, you know, you're in Dre Pong and all the tantric rituals and everything. You always hear a lot of music and trumpets and horns. And, uh, you know, what is the purpose of that? Um, and Rinpoche said the purpose for it is an offering. Um, it's an offering uh, being made of music. Um, and I asked if there was something else there. And he said, no, it's an offering. Um, so, um, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, say, oh, there's not, you know, why do a lot of the centers also put their prayers to music. And I tell you, when I had to memorize in the monastery, um, being a musician, you put a little catchy tune to the thing you have to memorize. It's a lot quicker. And that's why you see a lot of it memorized in, in a kind of a musical fashion. It, it, it actually makes it easier to memorize. Um, or whatever that's worth. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully everybody will stay healthy and we'll see you all next week. Hold on, I see some more comments. Hold on one sec. Oh, thank you. All right, take care everybody. Have a great week. We appreciate all of you.